welcome back to a brand new video and I am beyond excited about this video because pets are finally coming to Sims 4. This is literally the best news ever. It's not just me that's excited about this news, it's pets in general, including the bean. I would have the cats in this if I could, but they're not right here. But look who is here. One of our favorite pets who's ever lived. It is, of course, mwah, little Evie BB. So, the exciting news is that because Sims, uh, because pets are in Sims 4, we will be able to add Oliver, Darcy, and Evie mwah, to the game, which I'm so, so excited about. Obviously, next weekend we are going to be aging up Claire and Ali in the special Sims. And the special Sims Dreamhouse episode 50 live episode. Make sure you tune in for that. It's going to be on Saturday night. And so the new challenge for Ali and Claire is don't die before Sims 4 Pets comes out. Because otherwise we won't get to have little Evie Peavy. So this news broke while I was in Germany at Gamescom. It actually got announced by EA at Gamescom. And I tweeted how excited I was because you guys tweeted me with the news. I watched the trailer. It looks amazing because not only are we getting pets, but it looks like we're also getting a whole new neighborhood. I definitely want to do a series in the neighborhood. I'm kind of thinking a series where we are a vet because they've added the vet career and we try and save all the straight animals. Especially because Ali and I are now obsessed with Super Vet on Channel 4. So I get to become the super vet. So let me know if you guys want to see that. So we get pets, we get a new neighborhood, we get stray animals. It looks like we get raccoons and foxes as well. We get the veterinary career. We get loads of amazing new stuff. And guys, I am beyond excited because pets has always been up there with my favorite Sims expansions. I think the first Sims pets came in Sims 2. I had it in Sims 2 where your pets could go out and get jobs. It was in Sims 3, which was pretty amazing as well. And now it's going to be in Sims 4. So I thought to get ourselves as hyped as possible, and as excited as possible and also to do a comparison when Sims Pets comes out on Sims 4 I thought we would make Oliver, Darcy and Evie in the Sims 3 Pets I've downloaded it all ready to go so we can do a little bit of a comparison if you guys have pets that you're looking forward to putting in Sims 4 and you have Sims 3 please make them and tweet them at me so when the Sims 4 comes out we can make them again and do a little comparison so guys without further ado let's play some Sims 3 Pets Oh my god. Oh my god. It's been so long since I've seen this intro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm literally dying. I'm literally dying. Oh, oh my gosh. It's been a while since I've played this, guys. Here we go. Sims 3 Pets expansion back. I did look online and they also did have pets in Sims 1. It was called Sims Unleashed. But you couldn't make them and like create your own pets. Here is a little Sims Pets, Sims 3 Pets expansion pack. I know a lot of you guys are still playing on Sims 3. I know that there's a load of custom content for Sims 3. But I've been exclusively playing 4 for a while now. Oh, select a town. Yes, we will select the uh, the little Apalooza Plains town. I am going to log in. So if you guys want them, the uh, Oliver, Darcy and Evie, when I make them, you can get a hold of them and add them to your Sims 3 game if you're playing the Sims 3. Oh my gosh, do you remember this? And you had to find stuff. And like click it and I was always like, what is it? Find the laptop. Click. F oh, we didn't get time. So here is it. Is it the Appalooza Plains? Like uh, everyone was like very farmy and I like, had little horses and stuff. It was lovely. It was lovely. Oh, there's even, look, look at this. The pond or swimming pool or whatever it is in the town. I think it's a pond. Is a, a doggy bone. Does it get much cuter than that, guys? I also love neighborhoods in three. Like, I love neighborhoods in three so much. Okay, look, here is a little sit. Okay, you can be our pets, like, minder. Let's add ourselves first of all. I'm gonna do it in um, age order. So the first pet is actually Oliver. I think Oliver is, I wanna say three or four, four maybe? I think he may be four years old now. So he is the oldest of all of the calorie aching pet clan. He came first and Oliver, no word of a lie, was the, he was the cutest kitten. Like Darcy is a badass cat and he was an awesome kitten. But Oliver's cuteness was just the most insane. And what is cool is you can click through all the little breeds. Like, is that a, should we find Ragdoll? Where is Ragdoll at? <gasps> Himalayan, oh look at all the, I didn't even know half of these. Beautiful, beautiful cat breeds. Look at the manx without the tail. <gasps> I actually love that it's got this little cute tiny tail. I think it's an American bobtail as well. Look, American bobtail, cute tiny tail. I tried to convince Ali to get one of those, but he's like, I like the tails too much. So, you know, what can you do? Okay, 
So we need to find Ragdoll. There we go. So it's a good starting point from Oliver. But it's not quite there. It's quite close. So Oliver is a little bit less um, gray. I'd say he's a little bit warmer toned than that. He definitely has the big blue eyes. Um, and he has like almost like a bit of a stripy sort of raccoony tail. And he goes from like white to brown. So we've got some changes to do guys. And there's a lot of customization you could actually do in this game. So here's a gorgeous picture I took of Oliver when we got home from uh, Gamescom. He was just chilling out on the walls. We went outside. He actually has four, like, his leg paws are kind of, like, all coloured. So he needs to change his legs. But also, he isn't grey. I'd say he's more like a creamy kind of colour. So it, there's a lot of changes that we need to do to him. So... I need to do some changes on his legs and so first. Actually, let's go back. Let's go back just one second. Because I want to change his all up color. I want to make him a little bit... Okay, no, he's definitely not. <laughs> he's definitely not that. I would say he's... Have I even changed a single thing? <laughs> Have I done anything? Yeah, I've made him warmer. That's definitely closer to what he is. But now we need to change like every little part of him. See, it's done his ears like that. But Oliver's ears are bigger. Like, Oliver's, Oliver is so freaking fluffy, you guys. You don't understand his fluffiness. His eyes are also, like, lighter blue. Yeah, more like this. Oh, my gosh. I forgot how much customization there was on this game. Like, they definitely dial the customization down a lot in later games. Which kind of sucks, because it's quite... There was a good degree of customization. I don't even know why you need to be... <laughs> Why you need this much customization for a cat? But I don't know if you're gonna have this much in The Sims 4. Honestly, I don't think you will. Okay, Oliver's got a little flat nose like that. He's got quite a short little head. Okay, his face is definitely, definitely more Oliver-like now. Oh my gosh. Literally, you can customize your cat more in The Sims 3 than you can your human in The Sims 4. How actually mad is that? I'm looking at Oliver's face here. <laughs> as like a guide for like his facial characteristics so i moved his eyes right down his eyes are also not they're not they're a little bit more like that i would say yeah they're more like that and they're a little bit closer together yeah there we go okay <laughs> go away basic pet shapes his stomach scale definitely that <laughs> It's because he's so fluffy to be fair. I also they had his neck like there, but I think they're quite like Like if Maine Coons are quite long then uh, Ragdolls are very like poochy, I would say we can change the skull shape Um, Definitely more like that. Okay. I think so shape wise were there. So let's return and let's do his colors Okay, guys, so I'm taking this really seriously <laughs> So, I deleted all the layers and started again. <laughs> I can't help it, it's just who I am. A weirdo. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm gonna get to Oliver's face. I've spent a long time doing this. One thing I can't do is give him his white eyeliner. There's no setting and I've put on like the tiniest patch and it's still way, way bigger. So I can't do that unfortunately, but we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the legs, okay? Okay guys, this is taking so much longer than I expected because there's so much you can add on. And it took ages to line up certain stuff. Like the ears are like, he doesn't actually have this line at the back of his head. But I, I might have to put a patch over to get rid of it. But I'm on his tail now. Obviously his tail doesn't look like this, but it's a good starting point because he definitely has like a, that like raccoon -y sort of tail that ragdolls have. So we're gonna start off with that. And the bits in between are white, but it, it, it's a bit more gradual than that, okay? <laughs> okay, I think we are done. <laughs> I think we are done. So Oliver's legs kind of have like these. He's kind of, so he is classed as a, I think it's a seal tabby point ragdoll. So he's got tabby stripes on his face. He's got them like gently all down his back and down his tail. And he's got them like on his legs. His tummy is actually really white, but I think that's going to be kind of hard to do. I can try it. I can try it. Okay, I've tried to make his tummy white now as well. And uh, there's a few bits that I would say are a little bit wrong. Like the sides of his face have been quite hard to do. But in general, I think he's looking pretty good. One last thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to make the sides of his face a little bit more gentle. Soften those up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's better. 
Oh my gosh, one pet done. I've probably been doing, it took me about an hour, I would say, to do that. So that, I'm gonna save that just in case I accidentally somehow save. There we go. So that is what an Oliver cat looks like. He is the first cat I bought after uh, moving away from home. He always has a very, very special little place in my heart. I'd say Darcy's a little bit closer to Ali and Oliver's a little bit closer to me. So I love this cat so much. And the thing is, they both wear bandanas, but both of them have a red bandana. Unfortunately, there's no option to put a bandana on a cat. What is going on there, guys? Literally, what is that all about? Also, if I put this on him, look, it's taken away his beautiful fluff. So I'm gonna leave him, I'm gonna leave him naked. So Oliver Calorie Aiken, he is a boy. Let's change that one. <laughs> I don't think that would have changed any of his look. No, I don't think it has. I think he looks the same. Maybe he's got some added packages down there. I don't know. But there we go. An Oliver cat is done. Uh, that's his everyday look. How cute is that? Oliver's personality. Okay. He is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> he is clueless. Ali will definitely agree with that. He's a bit of a clueless cat. He kind of just does... Yeah, he, literally he does that and he's like... <coughs> all the time. He is friendly though. He's very friendly. I also would say Oliver is quite a proud cat. He's often cleaning himself and I think he thinks rather a lot of himself. Quite like this cat. He has... Hi. So he's got a really high meow all the time. It's almost like he can't meow. He's like... That's how Oliver meows. Like, literally, it's quite annoying. But there we go. Oliver Cat is done. Oliver Calorie Aiken. Let's move on to Darcy Reno. So, Darcy is about a year and a bit younger than, um, younger than little Oliver. Darcy. Everyone always thinks Darcy is a girl. He's not. He's a boy. I think it's the name. But Darcy Calorie Aiken is also a boy. Both the cats are boys. And Darcy is... L -M -M. M -M -M. A main Coon. So he has this type of look apparently. He's got the big bushy tail. See if can we make it because I find that Darcy's quite like long featured almost. I'm also going to straight up change his coat straight away to more of like this darker brownie kind of color. Yeah, more like this kind of a color. Uh, yeah, I would actually say more like that. His fur is super long though. So Maine Coons, as you can see, have big long ears and they sit really high on the top of their heads. Let's do all of our little uh, advanced changes to him. So I've got a nice pick here of Darcy to go by. So he's actually got really big eyes. And his eyes are like a lot closer together than Oliver's are. He's got a super, super wide nose, I'm now noticing. Like, his nose is like so much bigger than Oliver's. And then he's got a really distinctive, like his head is a really distinctive shape. Kitten Darcy. Just realized I haven't made um, Oliver's nose pink yet. So I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, you can't add the big tufts of fluff that go out of his uh, ears. <laughs> okay, so I would say Darcy's paws are a lot darker than that. It's hard because all the pictures of I have of him, Ali's always holding him. <laughs> So I can't see him. And then I'm gonna put some more stripes like across him. Mm, yeah, on his back. Maybe I'll do them as like two sets. And then I'm gonna tone him down a little bit. This is longer than I spent making me and, <laughs> me and Ali. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but there you go. Cause he is still stripey, but he just also has those other markings. These like more like leopardy ones. It's just kind of harder to tell because uh, He's so fluffy. He's fluffier than Oliver. And he gets mats all the time. Like, literally all the time he gets mats. It's so annoying. You brush them all out, and then the next day, they all just come back again. I just realized I've been copying and pasting these numbers, and I could have just dragged them in each time. How annoying is that? I think we're close. I think his face still needs a little bit more work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Like, Darcy always wears a bandana. Always, always, always. So if there's no bandanas in Sims 4 pets, I'm going to be so disappointed. Okay. I think that's Darcy just about done. This is a bit high. That's a bit high on that side. But other than that, I think we're almost there with everyone. A bad from the bean. So, Darcy's personality. Okay, first of all, where is it? Noisy. He's definitely noisy. 
Darcy never shuts up and he wakes us up every single morning. Will it be me on for 10 minutes? Too long for meows. Too much meowing. No. 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 Too many meows, okay? Shh. 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 Again, he's very friendly. And I would say Darcy's also very playful. Very happy-go-lucky little attitude. <gasps> Look how cute he is! His voice like, has so many ranges. He goes all over the place, but... I'd say most of the time he sounds like that. Okay! Another pet done. In fact, I'm gonna save his coat because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Ain't never doing that again. Okay, coat is saved. On to the final of the little cutie pets. It is, of course, our most recent pet, the bean. <gasps> she does not look like that. So it's Evie BV Pudding and Pie. She is a girl. And she is, Evie is, will be two in April. So she is uh, a Cavalier King Charles. Oh, little breeds. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. They've got it right. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Ah, they're so cute. Oh. Okay, so this is the tricolor, which I also love. But Evie is a Blenheim. So she looks a little bit more. I, sw I think I've made all these before, you know. It's no, it's not like that. No, it's not like that either. <gasps> okay, this is a little bit more like it. This is close. Evie is actually quite brown, I would say, for a Blenheim. She's got a lot more brown than she does white. Okay, I think we'll use this as like a basis and go from there. Okay, the first thing I did was make her ears longer because that's how they were when she was a puppy. But now she's a lady. She's got big long ears. Everything else on her face though, I think is pretty good, to be honest. Her eye scale is definitely wrong. Evie has freaking huge eyes. Huge, beautiful eyes. Look at them. It's a good job we take so many pictures of our pets to use for reference. Her eyes are beautiful, you guys. I, okay, I'll drop them down a little bit. I think they're about like this. Her nose is actually bigger than that. Oh, have you heard her? She's snoring so loud. She does unfortunately have a nose a little bit shorter than that. I, you guys recommend to us a lot, like uh, like pugs and that kind of thing. The reason I would never get one is because of this here. The uh, the shorter that is, the harder the dog finds it to breathe. And we already noticed with Evie, like today was a really hot day. She starts to struggle and her nose isn't even that bad. The minute that starts to get too small, the dog starts suffering. And it's really not fair on them. Like, it really impacts their breathing. And I, I don't like it. It makes me really upset when I see dogs struggling to breathe. So I would say definitely you need to watch out for that in a dog. Because it's not fair. Okay, we're getting there. I'm basically just puffing out her face and stuff a lot. Oh my gosh, imagine. The thing is, like, calves have the most expressive little eyes. And most of the time they look really sad even when they're not. And Evie is definitely quite bad for doing that. Oh my gosh, I can make them even longer. They they are really long. I don't maybe not. Maybe they're about here, I would say. Evie's ears are super long. She's a little lady now, you guys. I've got a picture of her here to use as a reference. She's such a little baby. I love her so much. I love them all so much. Like, I just love them. Oh, they are our little babies. And I love them so much that I actually get upset when I talk about it. Okay, so I've got a video of Evie wagging her tail in her sleep. I can see all of her back. So I'm gonna use that as reference. Oh, I love how the tail's just wagging because Evie's tail never stops wagging, ever. I love her so much. I would say Evie's markings are kind of like this. She's like lying on the floor. Being the biggest baby in the whole world. And then her most famous marking of all is one of her, the only reason we got Evie, like literally the only reason we got Evie is because one of her paws is brown. And the breeder otherwise would have kept her to be um, a breeding dog or a show dog, but she couldn't because of the Evie's markings. 
Which is great for us, because it means we got the doggy love of our life. She's got one brown paw and one white paw, so I'm gonna make this one here a little bit whiter, so you can see the difference between the two of them. And then that is like the really extreme difference between Evie's paws, and it is literally as much as that. One is brown, and one is white. And it looks super cute. We like it because we say she's got uh, one sock on and one sock off. <gasps> oh, look, she's got some brown on her face here. Where have you come from? There we go. A beanie as well. Oh, she's so cute. So Beanie has a little blue collar. Hopefully this isn't going to mess with us too much. But we give her the same blue collar as a lady in Lady and the Trump just like this a little brown leather is that like a leathery kind of collar i think it is and she's actually got a disc on it it isn't the same shape as this but it's kind of similar oh man i forgot you could do all this <gasps> i actually miss this game so much okay there we go she's got her little collar oh, oh my gosh i'm actually gonna cry look how cute she is I think her ears are bigger. I'm sorry, but her ears are even bigger than that. I'm sorry, but they just are. And there it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm setting her ear lengths are full. Because she has big, long, beautiful ears. <gasps> okay, one last thing. So finally, let's do little Evie's personality. So I would say Evie is friendly on top of all things. <sighs> That's kind of a weird bug, but okay. Uh, she's definitely loyal. She sticks to Ali and I so, so much. Because Evie won't even be in the in the different room to us. She has to be in the same room to us. And then I would say she's fairly quiet, Evie. She is a quiet dog. She, she will only bark if... She barked at Supervet the other night. But in general, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. So, have we got this back? Oh, the, the barks are really weird. I'm going to say she's got quite high barks. And there we go. Everybody's got their traits as well. Okay, so just before we finish, I thought I would show Ali the animals to get his thoughts and see what he thinks of them. Because they took a very long time to make. Cool. They took longer than we did in The Sims 4. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, I've been playing COD for like an hour and a half or something. <laughs> it's because like you, like literally you have to build it up in layers. Oh, so what? if I show you like their coat layers, uh, there's like so many of them. Is this non-modded as well? Yeah, this is like all individually added layers to make him look like Oliver. Fair enough. It took a really, really long time. So Oliver I did first because he's the oldest. That makes sense. And then this is how he looks. He's got like his little stripes and I his little tail. I didn't think he'd be able to moderate the animals that much. Literally Sims 3 had the most amazing customization ever. And then I don't think Darcy's quite as good, okay, but he was gonna... a bit harder because his Aww. coat is so crazy looking. No, he still did a really good job. But he's like, he's got a really crazy coat yeah. and then did the lines on the back. I think if anything, little... yeah, I don't know, I think it's good. I think that's really good. You can't do the tufts out of his ears, which Aww. is quite annoying, but still he looks pretty cute. And then here's baby. Oh, oh <laughs> that's so good. As if you can customize it that much, that's so cool. It's cool. Look, cause she's got like those three little marks on her back. One paw, one paw. So you did. All, you can do all of that. What? You customize all of that. I customized all wow. of that. How cute does she that's look? So cool. So that's the three of them. This is the poor guy that's gonna be looking after I them for us, cause I'm gonna upload them onto the gallery. What the heck? He's such a hippie. I know. And then we can compare them when we actually uh, get Sims Four. Will it be even bigger and better mods uh, of creation? Honestly, Sims 4? I don't know. Sims Four is a lot more limited, but the end result is better. I would say. So that's yeah. probably where we're gonna be. But are you impressed? I give it a solid. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, guys. There we go. So here are the three animals in The Sims 3. I will drop the link so you guys can get them in the description below. Don't forget to make your own animals in The Sims 3 and then show me how it compares when we get Sims 4 in November. <laughs> I talk with my hands a lot so that we can see how they compare. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do they need to do if they enjoyed it? Please give it a thumbs up. And give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.